So you may have just installed iOS 16 and I'm going to go ahead and break down a few different, you know, things that you may want to go ahead and turn off a few different settings within iOS 16 that may be better off uninstalled or maybe not doing than actually doing. Now the very first thing is actually with the lock screen. So most of us may know one of the biggest features within iOS 16 is actually with the brand new lock screen and we actually have the ability now of installing and using certain widgets. So here I have a different page of widgets right here. Now these are cool, I like widgets a lot, I love widgets on my you know, home screen, but the problem as of right now with having something like a bunch of widgets on your main panel is actually that they suck up a little bit of battery life. Now, they don't really take up a bunch of battery life per widget, but if you have many different widgets, then if your iPhone already doesn't give you great battery life, the best thing to do is probably just to go ahead and actually remove some of these widgets. So you can go ahead and do that by actually going to, first of all, clicking on your specific you know, lock screen, holding it down like this. You then wanna go ahead and click on the customize button just like this, and you'll actually have the ability of clicking on certain widgets like so, and you can click the minus button next to these widgets to go ahead and delete them. Now, again, if you don't want to do this, you can keep maybe a few widgets. If you don't care about battery life, then obviously keep all of them on, but this is something I would probably recommend doing. On top of that, because iOS 16 now has the ability of having tons of different lock screens, I would also recommend going through and deleting and pretty much holding down and deleting and on any of these wallpapers you're currently not using either. Because if you have 10 of these different pages in the background, it's going to go ahead and pretty much suck up a little bit of battery life on those things too. So if you can, just go and delete as many wallpapers as you can. Keep your current wallpaper if you want, but again, you should probably go ahead and not have like 10 or 15 open in the background because that can also go ahead and take up a little bit of battery life as well. Now flipping open your phone, you know, the standard things like removing widgets and different things like that. I think most people probably know this by now, but within iOS 16, we do have a little bit more of a feature set within Siri. So what we want to do is we want to make our way over to our Siri options. We can do that by pretty much just scrolling down until you find Siri, which is right here, right under wallpaper. So Siri and search, you want to click there. And I will pretty much always be a huge proponent of telling people to not, you know, keeping this enabled, just listen for, hey Siri, I'd probably recommend just disabling that. That's probably one of the worst things ever, pretty much. It's just gonna suck up a lot of battery life in the background. But if you do have this thing open, there's uh, some new options as well that I would probably recommend disabling. So I'm going to go ahead and enable Siri for this most part. I'm going to go ahead and just click this off. Now under some Siri options, we do have a lot of other things that come up. So if you have Siri enabled, I would also probably recommend disabling a lot of these other things, including a new option, which is Siri hanging up calls. So if you have that ability, if you don't really want it to be on, then I would recommend disabling that option too, of pretty much having Siri announce, of pretty much giving the ability to Siri of basically, you know, dis disabling and hanging up calls for the most part. So that's another big thing that's pretty much new with iOS 16, and I would probably recommend you to go ahead and pretty much delete that for the most part and just not allow Siri to do that. Now, on top of that, there are some other options within Safari. So since iOS 15, there's been a new option for the most part. I think it's with iOS 15, maybe even iOS 14, of pretty much giving us the ability of seeing a bunch of different things here. So we can have the ability of seeing our favorites, privacy report, reading list, frequently visited you know, sites, so many other things. If you want to go ahead and actually remove each individual portion, this is probably another option where I'd probably recommend you doing that. It's going to make your iPhone a little bit less, you know, in your face in terms of the things that you go and visit on Safari. So as you can do here is you can go and click on the edit button right on the new Safari tab, and you'll basically see a bunch of different things that come up. You'll see favorites, frequently visited, shared with you, privacy report. What I would recommend doing here is pretty much disabling every single one of these options you don't want enabled. Now this is in its you know core probably going to make it a little bit easier of a process of you saving as much data on your phone of not being showcased to everybody who whenever you open up your safari browser you can also go ahead and enable a background image if you want to i would always probably recommend doing that it's kind of cool but even if you don't want to so disabling these options is probably the best thing to do that way when you go ahead and actually get into your actual safari tab you can see a brand new page and it's not really going to be something that's all up in your face like that with all of your you know data and stuff that you've seen now another big thing within ios 16 is actually with haptic feedback on the keyboard Whenever you go ahead and type in anything on your keyboard, whatever it is, sometimes your keyboard may actually give you haptic feedback, meaning it's going to go ahead and vibrate. Now, this is cool. This is a feature. And honestly, I'm probably going to have this enabled. But if you want to save the most amount of battery life on your device, the best thing to do is probably have that disabled. So what you want to do here is you want to make your way over to your settings application just like so. You want to go down into sounds and haptics, which is right there. There's going to be a little option that says keyboard feedback, which is right there. 
and all you want to do is go ahead and make sure the haptic feedback is disabled. Now, if you want to enable it, if you want the vibration motor on the keyboard to go off, then obviously you want that enabled. But for a majority of you out there, if you want to save the most amount of battery life, I would probably recommend keeping that disabled because that's probably going to go ahead and probably give you a better experience, at least in my opinion, in terms of the most battery life possible. Now, another big thing that kind of happened with iOS versions, I think it was about two or three versions of iOS ago, was within your privacy settings of location and significant locations. So what we can do here is, I think since iOS 14, we have the ability of disabling, you know, our main location of our device and giving, you know, applications an estimate of where we are. But there's also a new option that was significant locations, which shows us exactly where we are most of the time. So if you'd like to go ahead and disable this, which I would recommend doing, you want to make your way over to your settings application you want to scroll down until you see privacy which is right over here privacy and security you want to click there you then want to go and click on location services and when you click that you're going to go ahead and see an option right here which is system services you want to go and click on there and here and when you scroll all the way to the bottom, it's going to go ahead and show you some really cool stuff. But right here where it says significant locations, you want to go ahead and disable that. Now, if there's a reason why you have that enabled, like your company made you put it on or something, then obviously keep it on. But if you have the ability to, I would recommend keeping this off. I think this is probably one of the more important things to just turn off. On top of that, if we swipe back once more, you'll basically see if we swipe back once more, we go back into tracking. This is a new little option too of tracking. And this is where you probably want to go ahead and make sure this is actually enabled, where it says allow apps to request a track. Having these applications giving you the ability of turning off tracking in the background is another really big thing I would probably recommend you to do. And that's another big thing, honestly, that I would probably recommend you just to disable. So go and disable that. You'll be in a better situation. Now, finally, another big thing within iOS 15 was actually focus modes. Now, what focus modes allowed us to do, if we swipe down from the top right, they actually allowed us to create different focuses, which were right here. And I think this was cool in theory. And they were just like pretty much focus down, do not disturb modes. But if I were you, if you don't know anything about focus modes or anything like that, and you just want your standard do not disturb mode, you can kind of turn off focus modes. You can do this by going into your settings application. Once you're here, you'll come into this panel for the most part. You want to go down into focus, which is right here. And what I would recommend doing is swiping through each individual one that you don't you know, currently have. So here, what you can do is click on this one right here. And there's a little delete focus option. If you go and delete a focus, it's going to go ahead and delete those you know, focus modes for you. Now, I think this is a really big thing for the most part because it's going to go ahead and pretty much disable you know, these specific focus modes. And that's going to give you a better experience with do not disturb mode if you don't know anything about focus modes. That way, when you go over here, and you just normally turn on do not disturb mode, well then that's how you can do it. You don't have to go and deal with focus modes every single time. So. So those were pretty much the main things I wanted to show you guys. A few things, like I mentioned, I would probably recommend, you know, disabling as many widgets as possible. Also removing as many widgets from this specific panel. That way you can go ahead and just, you know, just have as a few things in the background sucking up as much data as possible. But that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.